Quite a crowd at the White House today. Michael Jackson with President Reagan used the White House as a backdrop to show off a new TV commercial. That will be the centerpiece of a national anti-drunk driving campaign. Just a few minutes ago, Mr. Reagan welcomed Michael Jackson at the White House and presented him with an award. Well, isn't this a thriller? I'm delighted to see all of you here today. We haven't seen this many people since we left China. And just think, you all came to see me. No, I know why you're here, and with good reason. To see one of the most talented, most popular, and most exciting superstars in the music world today, Michael Jackson. And Michael, welcome to the White House. I hope you'll forgive me, but... We have quite a few young folks in the White House who all wanted me to give you the same message. They said to tell Michael, please give some TLC to the PYTs. <laughs> now, I know that sounds a little off the wall, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and Michael, I have another message from our fans in the Washington, D.C. area. They said, we want you back. So when you begin your greatly awaited cross-country tour, will you please be sure to stop off here in the nation's capital? Standing by live at the White House with a report on Michael Jackson is Michael Buchanan. Mike? Andrea, a head of state has never attracted so much attention, so much security, and so much excitement. The crowd all throughout this morning kept chanting, We want Michael. We want Michael. And the police kept saying, beat it. <laughs> the one glove and Jackson buttons and often screaming are clinging to the White House fence, hoping to get just one glimpse of their idol. Michael Jackson, the superstar of the 80s, is here in Washington meeting with President Reagan, the super politician of the 80s. It's a ceremony to kick off a national campaign against drunk driving. Security is everywhere. Every time a limo goes down Pennsylvania Avenue, the crowd pours into the street. The number of people has grown all morning. A school truancy officer could have a heyday here. I think it's great. Well, how many black famous millionaires do you find running around here? People are just here trying to get a little glimpse of them. You ain't going to get to see them, but you know, it's history in the making, okay? You guys better watch out. The truancy officer sees you all. You're going to be in trouble, huh? Huh? No? Did you get to see him? Did you? You did get to see him? I seen him. Oh, I touched the car. This way. Well, I knew this was a big story. For the first time in years, my daughter wanted to come to work with me. I'm Mike Buchanan, Eyewitness News, reporting live from the White House. He had left about noon in his private jet without saying. I was in touch with him as late as 12 o'clock today. And uh, 12 o'clock today, they said there's no definite schedule as of now, and uh, they hope to have it in about a week. Well, Jackson should know his fans are ready. Joe Krebs, Channel 4 News. Later in the day, President Reagan criticized the Soviet Union for poor... <laughs> and Mrs. Reagan. Transportation officials hope the words to beat it will inspire kids to beat this tragic national epidemic and to understand that driving drunk is no thriller. Ellen Kingsley, Eyewitness News. When the Michael Jackson convoy pulled out of the White House, there was a stampede. <laughs> come through the White House at one time or another, but today, some say, it was the photo opportunity of the year. The president, dark suited and white shirt and tie, strolling with the superstar, sequined down to his socks. The fans squealed, the president spoke. To Michael Jackson, with appreciation for the outstanding example you have set for the youth of America and the world. I'm very, very honored. Thank you very much, Mr. President. 
drinking. Jackson, who doesn't drink, smoke, or take drugs, was honored at the White House for allowing his hit song, Beat It, to be used in a new anti-drunk driving ad campaign. No, he didn't step into the White House with his famous moonwalk, but from his spangled socks to his eye-popping jacket, complete with sunglasses, and of course the one glove, Michael Jackson looked ready to give a performance. Well, isn't this a thriller? For many, it was. Business pretty much stopped inside the White House, and outside they were hanging from the fences. And an older fan even learned some of the new lingo for the visit. They said to tell Michael... Please give some TLC to the PYTs. Translation, give some tender loving care to the pretty young thing. But this day was about care behind the wheel. With graduation and the prom season coming up, this is a vulnerable time for young people, and Michael Jackson is allowing the government free use of his song Beat It to send a message not to drink and drive. The president gave Jackson a plaque for his efforts, and the singer, who always seems a bit shy in accepting awards, returned the thanks. I'm very, very honored. Thank you very much, Mr. President <laughs> and Mrs. Reagan. The president asked a favor of Jackson. He told the singer to include Washington in his upcoming concert tour, and Jackson, who was put on the spot, said okay. Mike Von Fremd, ABC News, the White House. That's our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. Wearing the sequin jacket and one glove, met with President Reagan today at the White House. Peter Quinhakis reports. The White House doesn't usually pack them in like this, but then it's an unusual occasion. A meeting between two people some say are the most important and most famous men in the world. The occasion was the release of a new government anti-drunk driving public service announcement, to which Jackson donated his famous Beat It soundtrack. The PSA should be getting a lot of airtime soon to coincide with America's high school graduations and the parties that go with them. President Reagan had some kind words for Jackson's efforts. Michael Jackson is proof of what a person can accomplish through a lifestyle free of alcohol or drug abuse. People young and old respect that. And if Americans follow his example, then we can face up to the problem of drinking and driving. And we can, in Michael's words, beat it. For his own part, Jackson was characteristically speechless. I'm very, very honored. Thank you very much, Mr. President <laughs> and Mrs. Reagan. At the White House, Peter Quinn Hackis, Entertainment Tonight.